Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use Swift inside VS Code. So, most of the time if you're programming in Swift, you'll usually just want to use Xcode. But I guess if you like how VS Code looks and you have a lot of extensions set up, you can use VS Code. So, when you open VS Code, um, you'll probably be seeing this screen or you'll, on, or you'll be on the startup screen, um, whichever one. But it doesn't really matter. So what you need to do is go over here and you can either open a folder or you can just create a new file like this and if you um, actually no you probably shouldn't do that uh, let's just close that okay so what you're gonna have to do is open a folder and just navigate to where you want to save this so I'm just gonna save it in Xcode YouTube and I'm gonna create a folder called um, Swift in VS Code Okay, and now we can open this folder and just ch click trust the authors and long as long as you trust it and now what you can do is you can click new file and let's just name this program.swift okay so what you might need to do is you might need to go over to the extensions and search up an extension for swift and um, I might you could either do this one uh, I've installed this one but I don't really think it matters um, because basically if we go over here and let's say I write something so let's try and print hello world now one thing you'll notice is that you can't actually um, use any UI kit things so it has to be like actual swift programming but then what you can do is you go to run and um, if I just select all of this and do run code then you can just do R and it actually comes up with that so what you can't do is go up here and click run and click start debugging because then it's going to tell you this and I don't actually think there is any swift debugging things um, in here unless this is one but usually what I do instead is I'll just go here and I'll just right click and click run code and it'll run it all but you don't always want to be right clicking and run code so what you can do instead is you can go to code preferences and then keyboard shortcuts and if you search up run code you'll see that usually this is on something else but I've set it to command R like it is in Xcode and now if I go back here I can just do command plus R and it runs the code so yeah uh, you can pretty much do everything else you'd usually do in Swift like you can create a function print hello world and inside this just print hello world and if we run this uh, we can just like pretty much do anything you do in Swift except for use UI kit um, you can't really import UI kit because that's part of Xcode I believe or you can but you'd have to do some weird um, github cloning repositories and things and it's just really weird so usually what you're doing here is basically whatever you do in Swift Playgrounds so you can just use this as your Swift Playground if you like the look and um, feel of, vis of VS Code rather than Xcode but yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial bye